welcome once again. J76NY here is the situation. We've got this. It has nine ships, maybe one CL, eight DDs. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, I've had ordered Task Force Empire to move in closer to Kawam. Uh, chances are they aren't going to be able to catch up to them, though. Neither is Task Force Keystone. Uh, unless I separate out the slower moving battleships. Um, that is entirely a possibility. Uh, would probably be better off doing that from Task Force Keystone just because they'll still be able to bring plenty of firepower with the uh, two or three heavy cruisers in on them, and they'll move pretty quick, but they still aren't going to catch up to them. Um, I am going to launch planes from Guam, as well as from the Enterprise. Uh, we are going... See, this is the problem. If it's all destroyers, this attack package kind of sucks, to be honest with you. It's all destroyers. But I don't want them to get too close to Guam here. Um, so <laughs> B-17s it is, <laughs> I guess. Enterprise, you've got 14 Dauntlesses, 23 Wildcats. Uh, let's get the Dauntlesses up. Yeah, that looks good. Get them in on this attack. <clears throat> Enterprise may be able to launch again after uh, the cooldown period. They will no doubt be a little closer by then. Um, but Task Force Empire is going to move in. Uh, the battleship list Task Force Keystone is also going to move in. And our destroyers are going to loiter down here near truck. Um, Yorktown Air Group is almost in to midway to rearm her planes. Uh, she did take some damage, so I could probably release her. Um, but the damage isn't really anything that's keeping her from the fight. So I'm probably... Now that I think about it, just going to take the three days. It's going to be more than three days because I got to release her to get the planes back. <clears throat> we did get our command points as well. It's day 308, 6.15 in the morning, the last day of 1942. And we are going to start that with a Christmas present to ourself and a New Year's present to ourself. Uh, this is something I've been thinking about for quite some time here. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, we do have an Atlanta. We have one Atlanta left. And a ton of Cleveland's. 33 knots. Six... Or 12 six inch guns. Whoops. Great. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Brooklyn has 15 six inch guns. I think her top speed's a little slower. 33. 33.6. Okay. Brooklyn. At 18 points. Uh, St. Louis. That's not a bad option. I haven't used these Omahas yet. Um, they're older. They've got 10 6-inch guns. Uh, we're going to go with...
two Cleveland's, a Montpelier, and the Denver. That'll give us 58. Nine. Taylor, sixty-seven, seventy-six. And we could probably get, I think, uh, see what we can do here. Seventeen. Well, that's thirty-four. Too much. We got 20. We can spend 20 here. Call this fast tech. Something is off about Admiral Noah. All right, and then they're gonna come out this way. I wonder if they could carry try this here. I can carry stuff. All right, so three of them are going to carry troops. And three of them are going to carry supplies. out to Saipan. Alright, I don't know why you're stopped, but get into Saipan, drop those off. Uh, the troops that we have there are still fighting to wipe out the last remnants of the Japanese uh, garrison that was there. Uh, they don't have any supplies to do it with, so once they get the supplies, I'm assuming that they will uh, be able to take them fairly easy. And then down in the south, our groups are just about together. Uh, Alright, they're moving in. They're going to move in over here. Uh, the light of air is going to move forward as well. Tuna is patrolling up in that area. Uh, Truant is just sitting there. Have Truant patrol back in this area right here. Rusty's patrolling right there. Crimson Tide Battle Group is also patrolling right there. They're going to come up. Uh, no, they're not. Actually, I'm going to hold them here. Uh, just because I don't think that we've seen the last of the Japanese in this area. As we found out in the last episode. So, we are going to expand our lines and start moving forward. Still haven't decided. I said I was going to decide in the last episode which one of these islands I'm going to go for next. Um, still haven't decided. So hopefully at some point, New Year's resolution, we're going to have uh, our next objective for our northern group. So let's get into it. Hey, look what we got here. They're heading right for us. Isn't that interesting? They skipped right by Guam, headed for Task Force Empire. Uh, 
well, they, they ditched our planes. I just kind of left them there because I was kind of watching them move north. And it's like, if I, if I can get out of wasting a bunch of bombs and, and time bombing destroyers and missing, I will. So, Task Force Empire, come on down. Task Force Empire is on the map. I've separated them out so that we could possibly uh, spread our radar coverage out. And uh, not entirely sure if there's anyone here. So uh, they're going to continue to patrol around. I've got them uh, spreading out a bit. So we'll see if we can uh, come up with something. But right now I haven't seen much of anything. Um, Queen Elizabeth is at 67% uh, speed. She's got a lot of flooding, but um, she can still shoot. So that's the main thing. She can still shoot. All right, so these guys are going to look for the enemy, hopefully find them, and destroy them. I just saw them. We've only spotted one ship, and they're already all fucked up. They're all firing on us, though, so we got to uh, start picking some targets here. 20,000 yards out. We'll target the one that we can see for now. And that would be a... Stop jiggling around, I gotta see your turrets, boy. I only lost eight of them. There we go. Alright, we got one. We found one of them. 20,000 yards out. Uh, Express is sitting on 20,000 yards as well. Emerald, you've got 21,000 yards. Jupiter. Uh, let's have you target number two. It's going to be a pain in the ass if we keep losing them. And they are shooting at us. Keep in mind that we're getting shot at as I'm sitting here screwing around trying to identify them. 19,000 yards. We got two running side by side here. Yeah, nice. Not moving. Uh. Uh, let's see. Renown. Damn it. Renown, you were going to have the opportunity of a lifetime here. All right, well, Express. A Tromp. It's keeping an eye on my uh, 28,000 yards. Okay, well, number six it is. I think I just mis misidentified one of them there. All right, there's that one. 20,000 yards out. Uh, go high explosive, narrow, fire. Queen Elizabeth. I don't think that's a Hasuharu, but she's coming right at us, so... will be targeted first. Uh, one gun up, one gun down. There you go. Fire. 
Uh, War Spite. Might be a target. For two? There. Express should be within range now. Just barely. There. Emerald. Yeah, probably hold off with your secondaries for now. Oh no, no. Okay, Jupiter. Jupiter's taking hits. Fire. Electra. Fire. Renown doesn't have a target yet. We'll have you target number five. Number five looks like she's been damaged. Uh, more than likely from her own uh, poor... Helms, Mins. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, Queen Elizabeth, are you firing? Okay. There they are off in the distance. We might be scoring some hits here. Suzuki. Sashio. Are you firing or not? Yes. Renown. Exeter, no target yet. We'll uh, use Exeter to identify the other uh, the other destroyers here. Jupiter is taking the brunt of the attack here. So I've turned her away and uh, head in the other direction and get her damages fixed. Slow her down a little bit. But everyone else is doing fairly good. And we're getting pretty close here, so. Like Express is taking some attention being the leading destroyer that's not really a surprise slow her down they're making smoke see how we're doing here Trump is charging ahead here. Not getting a whole lot of hits. That's kind of concerning. Emerald Jupiter. Now let's not run into a uh, run into our damaged destroyer here. Horse fight. Queen Elizabeth. Exeter. 
Exeter's targeting uh, some of the further ships down here. Electra. Electra's taking heat now, too. You could probably launch torpedoes. Uh, put them all out. Widespread manual fire. Send them that way. Right, their torpedoes are away now. Working on the damages. I'm gonna start turning you up as well. Get you maneuvering this way. Jupiter, how are you looking? Got your fires out, so let's uh, pick up speed. Stop making smoke. Express. Ouch. Let's get that fire taken care of. Keep making smoke. Exeter. Down. Horse fight. Turn to the north. West. Queen Elizabeth, you can continue to come in. All right, it's basically a running, running duel with this Akazuki out here. We are doing damage to them, which is a good thing. This mess down here. Eventually, we're going to have to uh, switch our targets to uh, some of the ones that are up to the north a little bit. Focus fire here, express, and... All right, yeah, focus fire. That works. I'm going to have to have you... Eh. Fires are spreading. That's not good. Exeter secondary stop targeting and start targeting this Ashio here. Have you turn up? Fire. Down. Turn. Uh, secondaries are firing on the Asashio with her. Please let it happen. There we go. Uh, your renown. Hold your fire. Horse fight. Hold your fire. Manually target these two friends right here. Exeter do the same. Actually managed to break. Oh. Put a couple rounds down range. Hold your fire. Horse fight, hold your fire as well. Lecter is not looking too good here. May just have to have her out of here. Start making smoke. Jupiter's. Looks like she's recovered pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, tromp. Hold your fire. We're targeting Atsuharu. Doctor is really, really not looking good. Her Sakshio Express. Horse fight. Make sure horse fight's firing. Yep. And everywhere but the ships. Actually, there we go. That was a nice one. I mean, we're running side by side here. My goal is to circle, uh, deal with these guys up here, and then circle back and, I mean, we got, they're just going in circles down here. Queen Elizabeth, turn. But like that, bring rear turrets to bear. Electra's taking a beating. Who are you? This way. Torpedoes might actually hit. Kind of a surprise. Oh, you're holding fire? Stop holding fire. Emerald, how is it looking out there? See, this Akazuki's kind of taking the brunt of everything. Just wish we could hit her a little better. <laughs> I'll fire with your secondaries too here. Alright, hold fire. I'm gonna do a manual shot on the Akazuki. Second one in line is <clears throat> not looking any better. Atsuharu is Doing okay. The Jupiter. If you turn like this, be surprised if we uh, don't lose Electra here. We're gonna have you stop targeting who you are. Sashio sinking. Target this Estachio right there. Fire. Her front guns are out of action. Uh, we should be able to repair that though. A okay, still targeting Akazuki. Have you. Alright, there's the other one. Going 15 knots. 10,000 yards. Look how close we are. Under fire. Go. Ready. Fire. Let two uh, salvos go out. All right, take it off manual. Do your thing. Okay, Trump. 
I have you target number nine and identify. Only going ten knots. Exeter. Have you turn around? Rest, turn around. Emerald, turn around. Comp. Have you turn this way? I got this Asashio here. Okay, you're firing, you're firing. Queen Elizabeth's firing. Sashio is about to have a pretty bad day. Renown, south. Spite, turn south. Like that. Express just turn south. Actually, Express. I'm gonna turn north. I'm Go leaving. Uh, let's. Here. Elizabeth, for spite. I got this hot Saharo here. Brave Asashio. Everybody firing. Emerald doesn't have a target. All right. Me four knots. Jupiter's the one taking fire now. Turn around. Jupiter. Are laying smoke. All right. We're gonna work on this. Here. That was impressive. Alright, so we are down to the last two destroyers. These pair of pair of Asashio here. Uh, we're targeting them with everybody. Uh, Electra still has some damages to get fixed. Forward guns are still out of action. Uh, Tromp is getting pretty close. So Tromp could probably and to launch some torpedoes. Oh, we're 6,000 yet. Oh. Um. Oh, why not? Why not? Why not? Do a manual right here. Right through there. There you go. 
I'm actually not firing, so. Oh, we got an Asashio out here, too. Okay, well. This one might be coming back at us. If they really want to, they can. I'm okay with that, but these guys are getting pounded. Everybody... Everybody and their brother is now firing at that individual Asashio. 17,000 yards out. Run right at him. Bring. Uh. Eh. Not lasting very long, I don't think. If we can get the hits, that is. Going 31 knots. Then Exeter. Exeter is also targeting that Asashio. Bound. Have you come about? Do some fancy footwork with the uh, tips here. Press is looking fairly good. The eight percent damage getting into the fight. I think no. You can do what you can. Spite is firing. Down, you're coming here. Uh, you have no target. You're also making smoke. You can focus on them as well. Uh, she's firing. Are the only one firing here. Actually, fire. We're targeting this Asashio. Right at her. Oh yeah. We got two more. <laughs> They're gonna get away. These two are gonna get away. Maybe. Might actually get a torpedo hit. Because she's spinning in circle. <laughs> gonna spin right out of the way of the torpedoes accidentally. Queen Elizabeth. Jupiter. Everyone's heading in this general. You hold fire. We're getting start we're getting this Sashio here. That direction. Fire. I didn't go this guy. Might turn back into the torpedoes. Be something if I actually got a torpedo hit. Never happens. It's not with my uh my destroyers. Are the torpedoes? There, pretty widespread, but may blunder into one of them.
or not. Okay, this last destroyer, down to 11 knots, do some manual firing with the Exeter. The other one uh, escaped off the map, so it is what it is. I think that one was completely damaged. But we'll see uh, how long it takes Exeter to finish her off, the, uh, my manual shots here. There she goes. Nose diving into the sea. As the rest of the shots rain in. Here we go. Alright. That was a pretty decent map. Um... Minor damage, minor flooding, number 10 is still out there somewhere. Uh, but we intercepted and took out 9 out of the 10. We did take some damage ourselves. We expended a lot of ammo doing it. But um, that's okay because uh, we're right here at Guam. And Guam doesn't have any engineering, so we can't rearm there. But they have it on, I think they have some coming. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> truck. That's what I meant to say. Truck. Plenty of both. So, good job. Uh, Task Force Empire, head down and rearm. There you go. Uh, maybe our planes can get in on the, uh, on the last destroyer, which is probably going to be heading off in this direction. How about our Havocs? Got range. Head off like that. And our Avengers also have range. They can come out like this. So we're going to find that last destroyer. I say that every time and then they vanish. So um, Enterprise, I mean, Yorktown is almost back. Uh, Fast Attack 1's making its way down. Task Force 41 is making their way back up. They're going to grab... Oh, I don't know, probably some engineers for a truck. Oh, they got taught. Never mind. Guam, that's where we need the engineers. We can replenish our, uh, our ships. Uh, Task Force Keystone is going to return to the uh, Pen Pennsylvania and uh, merge up. But yeah, these guys are moving in. I haven't seen anything down here, but it doesn't mean that we won't. Um, as far as our next invasion goes, I still don't know. Iwo or Peleliu? Let me know what you think. We are with our Havocs now. We've got two groups of three and a group of two. Got one target each. You guys are going to slow down. Go to these guys. I'm not going to pop them up to a high altitude for this attack just because it's a destroyer and destroyers are really, really annoying to hit. Somehow this isn't going to work out. I see it now. I slowed them all down. Instead of just one. Oh no, he's still going pretty fast. 
you spinning. We'll bring you out so you can attack lengthwise. Then our second group. Addicts are pretty maneuverable. A-10 Havocs, or A-20 Havocs. I'd rather have an A-10 Warthog, but final countdown and all. I want to get too unrealistic with it. Uh, Task Force Empire has uh, got pulled into this, too. Actually, it was uh, more like the Havocs got pulled into it, but just booking at 26 knots. She's running straight. Hasn't started maneuvering just yet. I'm gonna drop uh, just a little bit in front of the reticle, the bullseye there. Uh, right there. First group's attacked. Second group is moving in. They're already past the target. Uh, gotta get them. There we go. Actually got some good hits on the stern of that one. And these other Havocs up here. Might not even need to... Do anything other than that. I did send uh, Express Jupiter and Trop off at full speed to uh, intercept. Wasn't really expecting her to sink after that, but I am perfectly okay with that. Our Havocs did the trick. Very nice. That would be that entire battle group. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode, and that's going to finish the year in 1942. Not a bad end to the year. Uh, still got some plans. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, Iwo or Peleliu, and uh, I may go with that. I'm very, very undecided about it, and Admiral Noah is mad, so good time to end the episode. Anyway, if you like this one, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you want to follow along, hit the subscribe, and we will see you for January 1st. Happy New Year, 1943. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.